And welcome back. I have Ty Jason. This is something awful, and I thought I'd start a blur rumor to show off the fact that um, with these Helmosaurs, you can totally steal their mask with the claw shot, which makes them basically a um, trivial fight. So yeah, there's that. And this is the third episode of the dungeon already. I have a feeling this is going to be the first dungeon to um, have me remember after these. Be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I'm sorry if my audio sounds very slightly different. I basically just realized my mic was not set up quite ideally, so it should have slightly higher quality than those first 30 seconds of the episode, which is kind of silly, but um, now that we're back here, what we want to do is we want to go over to um, the other side of the top room, which I'm going to just quickly roll over to, and now you get to see the final um thing that kind of happens in this dungeon, which is that if you pull out your hook shot and you hit this, these ones, you can move the staircases, obviously, but now what happens, which is interesting, is since there's water, the water flows down the staircase, and there's no way you're going up the staircase right now, but you can... Oh, well, while well, I'm thinking about it. No. Um, while well, I'm thinking about it, but yeah, I can go through there now. And I'll be able to go through there. But while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to completely forget about what I was about to do, and go hit this one so I can get back up, because there's always going to be a way to get back up. Also... You can jump over a lot of the gates in this room now that you have that. Anyway, um, let's just kind of... Oh, yeah, you can't do that. We're going to go back up here because if you remember way back, there was a chest on the chandelier. So I'm going to go up there and get it. And also, I could get that chest in the one room. I'll get it later, though. Um, We're going to get a piece of heart and get a new heart container. Whoa. Anyway, let's um, just jump back down. I believe this side's going to be quicker. If I can get off this thing. Please, please don't. Thank you. I thought for sure I was going to miss the, um, this here. There, and I would have been dis dis disencouraging. But yeah, you can skip a lot of things in here now. I want to hit this. And can I let go early? I think I might be able to. I kind of did there. I didn't want to, like, fall, of course. But now... That there's water here. Is it gonna? No, it's not gonna because we've already seen it. I thought it was gonna have a, like a little touching thing. Hey, it isn't cut the treadmill. This thing's moving from this tiny bit of water. This thing that you couldn't possibly push is moving. Yep. Gaming logic at its finest. Anyway, now we're in here, which is a. Uh, Apparently a bottomless pit at the bottom of this lake here. So we want to get across, obviously, and get up if memory serves as well. So first place we can go is to um, destroy the bat. But what we want to do is claw shot to here. When your claw shot is one of the roof ones, you can just kind of lower yourself gingerly to the ground. Or you could just let go and save yourself the time. I was going to claw shot it, but instead I'm almost going to roll off a cliff. Um, go back up, go back up, grab this chest, and get ourselves some more bombs. Okay, seriously, um, stop giving me water bombs, I'm full on them. Where we actually want to go, though, is um, from here, that's not what we came for. We came to be able to cross shot to this, because you can't just cross shot to any old wood like an Ocarina of Time, you pretty much could. You have to be able to, it has to be um, something, and it's not like in like, the past either, where like pots or chests were valid targets. This game, it's a bit more limited, which makes it a bit less broken, which honestly is a good thing. Anyway, we made it up to the top floor, but where we want to specifically go, I don't think we can um, technically make it over there. We might be able to with a bit of um, fine tuning, but where we actually want to go is... Hit this and then just kind of drop over here and um, there's a door. Which we're now on the top floor on this side, which is good because, um, oh yeah, these things. This is why I remember killing them like this, so that's why I remember needing needing the um, claw shot to do it. And yes, the claw shot is one of my favorite weapons in this game, as you might have figured, because, well, you know I like the claw shot in this it's a it's a classic weapon, but it's, well, that game, it was a new idea, anyway. Oh, I, I need, I actually need bomb arrows. It's like, hey, cross shot, cross shot, oh, you need bomb arrows here. Just, because. 
Uh, well, we're gonna wait for this to come back down and then get on it and ride it up. Yeah, this dungeon, uh, at least they have made it like, I mean, personally it's only possible because it's in ruins, but at the same time, other parts it seems like if it wasn't in ruins it'd be fairly easy. And here it's like, what do you do? And you obviously pull out your, um, that by accident. And a few times later we can get up here and then go this way. Yeah. So yeah, and it's another one of these guys. Yeah, they just kind of become enemies after that first one, and they're fairly easy at that. I mean, they have a fair bit of health, but who cares? They can't really do anything once they're out of their bubble, and they just take a, a combo from the sword and they're gone. Now, here, there's no door to unlock. What you have to do is just simply cross out over to the other side, and then you can just drop down, and there's water this time. There's not no water this time, which is nice, but there's not enough water. Anyway, here, this time it's going to be a bit more um, difficult to get up here. I mean, like, it's taking less time to get the second water out there. The rest of the dungeon after this is just going to be getting the boss key, actually. Which isn't going to be too bad if memory serves. It's going alright. I mean, I, I have a feeling it's going to take four episodes rather than three, but I've kept them, like, at the time they're supposed to take anyway. That, um... Yeah, I was gonna say there's no rock I can put on that. Basically, um, let's. Come on, I totally hitting where. Okay, you no, know let's, let's get a better vantage point. Why don't we? Apparently, we can't fire through the water, even if it's totally hidden. It. I'm, I'm having more trouble right now than I was previously with this, but that's okay. But yeah, I always like them taking off their helmets and then throwing at them, even though it doesn't do much damage. I think it does so little that it still takes the same amount of sword things to kill them. Okay, this time there's no, um, water, is there? But, I don't think there's... I feel like I'm missing, like... Yeah, I feel like I've skipped the compass at this point, which is gonna be fun running around through the dungeon looking for the compass in the end. So I can get all the chests. Cause I'm not gonna beat the dungeon until I get the compass. Which I, I have a feeling I know where it is. Actually, now that I think about it, and it's I'll be able to get it after this room if I'm right. But um, that well, no, I say this room. It's gonna be a few rooms. But if I'm right, it's in the main chamber again. And I, if I am um, do decide to um dungeon out the um. If I do decide to get all the um, chests in all the dungeons, I might do that as like an extra video because it just would be like I'm gonna have to um like just it's gonna take forever and you know what? I'm gonna do it if oh I have to just jump down here to do it apparently my claw shot is not that long it is not a long claw because there is no long claw that's not a spoiler it just isn't a long claw anyway in here we get the um. Oh, well, that works. So, I'm gonna take a look. What have I missed? Okay. Obviously, I missed that chest. Um, nothing. A bajillion chest in there. Chest over there. Um, okay. I missed... How much did I miss on that side, other than that chest? I've missed... I haven't missed that. Okay, so I've missed, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to make any guarantees on getting all the chests in all the dungeons. If you people do want to see that, let me know. Because um, I am going to have to backtrack to the last dungeon, which is actually mandatory. And I'm, I'll probably do it after I get a certain thing. Just because then I don't have to worry about like maxing out my wallet. But um, this time the water slide down at least is shorter. Because you're going to go down to here and you're going to hit the um, jump. And you're not going to make the jump, you're going to just kind of go down and you're going to be at the bottom. It's actually rather convenient. Anyway, there's going to be some fish bones in here. Or dry fish, or stall fish as they're officially called apparently. But we're going to open this, and yeah, as per usual, we... Well, I guess I could say per usual, I mean, it only happens twice in the game, but we've um, done that. So we're going to cross shot our way across to here. I think we entered from that side, so we're going to exit... On this side of the dog. Opposite. And just jump. Um, I, I... I'm remembering there being absolutely no point of coming over here now. 
But there's a chest here, so it's totally worth it. Even though I know this chest isn't anything important. All it is is a red ruby. But I do um intend to show off as many of the chests as I can. Yeah, the other water enemies in this game really don't serve much of a purpose. Because you can just easily avoid most, if not all of them. I'm gonna enter from this door through here because um now that this is rotating we can basically we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff on the bottom floor to get to the door on the opposite side of the bottom floor as you might have expected but first we're gonna get this guy's attention now notice this one is stronger because it has the um finish it has the um mask on which means it's a harder version so where we actually want to go, there's a chest we can get in here over over yonder. So I'm gonna um, um, have this guy up here, and I'm just gonna kind of stun him with the claw shot, and then have him fall to his bottomless death. Okay, get the thing. There we go. I want my tiny useless chest with 20 rubies in it, that are gonna make it, um, am I even gonna be able to make it back across? Probably not. That was totally worth it. Because that probably just made, no it didn't make the rough path respawn, okay good. Anyway, where we want to go now that we got that chest, is there's gonna be, um, we want to go back through this door so we can get these two chests, but, yeah, I'm gonna do the um, chest hunting in like a extra episode if you guys want it, I guess. Um, oh yeah, here I just get on this, open the gate, you know, which is gonna let me get over here and find that I still can't get that chest. I probably could have gotten it just a while ago. I'd say I I still do want to get it. I'm gonna look. Again, I know it's only going to be money. I know for a fact. It's not a, not a, I guess not a fact, but, um, it's bugging me. I need to get that chest. My OCD will not be satisfied unless I get that chest. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. You know what? I am going to get all the chests in the dungeon. I've decided I'm going to get all the chests in the dungeons. I hope you don't mind too much. I need to get over there again. This is just gonna be a complete waste of time. But that's okay. I might hut or chipmunk, but I, I want this chest I missed. That I didn't know was there, because I didn't have the cup at the time. And even if I did, I couldn't have gotten it. Because this would have been in the way. And there's one of these guys that are completely pointless as enemies, because they just kinda go down. But over here, we have a very important chest. Watch, this is going to contain a key, and my whole, like, thing that I went all the way out of the way to get this is going to be kind of funny, because it's bombs. Yay. So now we get to go all the way around again. Unless um, the game's nice, which it, it's not going to be, but there's no, like, paw shot shortcut, is there? No. Okay, well. Now that we're done here... I don't think we can... So now we get to go around again. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to cut something. Round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Really, though, this dungeon wouldn't have been bad in the slightest. If I, like, this whole segment here wouldn't have been bad if I wasn't going for 100% chest. And, like, the best part is... the Yeah, the best part is the worst part has yet to come, which... I guess I'm gonna do that now just to get it out of the way because the if well I know for a fact that once I'm through here, the rest of the dungeon is the lower route from here, basically where the um thing is already. But now that we've done that, we can um with the well first of all the water's filled up the rest of the way, so for one I'm gonna jump off here. And flip this around. I know I need it the other way. You don't have to tell me that. To continue on, I need, actually need it the other way. But down here, there's something important. I think. 
Also, there's something incredibly tedious I can get one here, too. But it's not on the side, it's on actually on the top. But, um, we're gonna go in here. And, lo and behold, now that we have water, the bottom section is gonna fill up. Which means that bridge is going to rise. Yes, that, that rising that bridge is the whole point of that entire... Is the whole, like, you never actually have to come back here from memory source, like, this bridge is completely optional, but by rising this bridge, we can go in here, something I didn't even show off before, and now we can open this, and from here, by opening this, this guy's gonna come, and we're gonna just kind of kill his face, and then finish it, and have a tech type come, and have a few other tech types come, and we're gonna do that and then just go with the last one because tech sites they can be annoying Duh. anyway what we actually have to do is stand on the switch actually the design switches do kind of basically from here we can stand on the switch hook shot our way into here before the gate closes because we can hook shot faster than we can run obviously and I might as well grab these to heal because I am damaged still I mean like I've been keeping a constant like heart half heart down this whole dungeon but now we can get this, which is the second piece of heart for this dungeon, which means that unless, which I know it isn't, unless that um thing I missed is a key, which I'm absolutely certain it isn't, but unless it was a key, which it isn't, um, it's completely going to be not worth the time. But I am going to get it anyway, and that's probably going to be the um, remainder of this particular episode. So, um, oh, well, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna, um, head back, and, um, I'm just gonna... Ow. You are gonna hit me, eh? You know what you get for that? If you didn't hit me, I was just gonna steal your helmet. But since you um, hurt me, you are gonna give me your life. And hopefully you give me something, but you didn't. Okay, now, the chest in this room, if I'm not mistaken, is actually something I should get later, but... Actually, something like... No, I was going to say I will get... Yeah. Um... I was going to say, well, this is annoying. Then I remember the hookshot exists. And it, it lets you, like, skip these. But I was going to say it's something I will get later. Then I remembered that it's right here. And might as well get it. Okay, you... Basically, in here, there's something for us. What is it? It's... 20 more dollars. What am I, that's crazy, I'm calling them dollars now. Yeah, I got 20 more rupees, like, you know, I got, like, 200 rupees in this dungeon, just from these, like, tiny pieces of money, but where we actually want to go is, um, I want to, yeah, I want to, I need to set this this way for me to be able to get up there, but I want to go here. And climb up this. I mean, there is a way to skip a bunch of stuff I'm doing, but I'm just going to be doing this, and that's going to be the the wrong way. But it, yes, there is grass, so it doesn't matter because I can just skip over it. But basically, I'm going to be heading back to the um, room with the um where I turned on the water the first time. I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're back in here. Now, um, I, I feel I should mention, while it is actually possible to, um, walk up the outside of this thing, I'm not gonna trust myself to do this, so instead, I'm going to walk up the entire thing, because I don't trust myself to, um, like, do this. Actually, yeah, I do. I totally do. No, I don't, because they're tech -based. And because that happens. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna be, um, walking up this entire thing in Iron Boots, but I'm not gonna treat you to that. I'm gonna, at the very least, chipmunk it, if not faster, and then just, like, have something over it. So, yeah, we're going on. Go on an adventure up this thing. It is very it's exciting. Yes, yeah, exciting. Honestly, I wish I could turn on this in real life. Oh, is it faster? Like, I think it is actually faster to do this. It's kind of silly. But I'm gonna, um, keep doing it because I think it is faster. Yeah, it definitely feels faster. Okay, let's turn around again. 
Thankfully, anyway, all this, all of this, which wasn't that bad thanks to that um, glitch, the clearly glitch, to get this chest. What does this chest contain? We need at least, it's not even a purple rupee. Okay, so now, map, have I missed anything on this side of the world? No. How much have I missed on this side of the world? Two chests. Okay. I'll see you in the main room next time. Bye.